Let's bring this project to an end by teaching you how to use the Gladiator animation software with my Matrix. And I'm going to show you the technique with the new Raspberry Pi 2 and the Banana Pro slash Banana Pi slash Orange Pi because those all work the same way. Ok, let's talk Raspberry. First of all, go to their site and download the latest Raspbian image. I used the 8GB microSD card and Win32 disk imager to burn the operating system to my card. Then I plugged the card into the Pi and did the usual setup for Raspbian. I changed the password for the root user to for example root and plugged in my wireless LAN adapter to connect to my network. Make sure to write down your IP address. We will need it soon. Now let's head over to solarlab.de to download the newest version of the Gladiator software. I unzipped the archive and opened WinSCP to transfer the Gladiator software to the Raspberry. That is actually why I needed the IP address and a root password. After I copied the program over to the root directory, I rebooted the Pi to log in as root user. Time to plug in our Arduino Nano, which controls all of the LEDs inside the matrix. I opened the command terminal and went into the directory with the gladiator.jar file. And I changed the names of the folders and .jar file around to make it easier to select with the command lines. Java is already installed on the system, so I just have to open the Gladiator software with this command and there we go. But don't worry, we are not done. The terminal said that the rxtx library was not found, which means that our program does not recognize the serial port of the Arduino yet. To solve this, we have to firstly install the library rxtx for Java. Then we have to change the class path and library path to the correct ones with those commands. Now the program recognizes our serial ports, but we would have to enter those path lines every time we reboot the Pi. Let's change that by adding those to the bash rc file which you can find in the etc folder of your Pi. Now it executes those commands whenever the Pi boots. Time for the Arduino code. Solder Labs actually offers a sketch for WS2812 LEDs. When I tried it with my PL9823 LEDs, well, you see the results. It doesn't work. But it apparently works with normal WS2812 LEDs, even though they have the same timing. It's just weird. So I did a bit of searching and testing and came up with a sketch that uses the fast LED library. Make sure you download it and copy it in your library folder of the Arduino software. I also included this part here before the serial communication which turns off all LEDs because they would light blue forever without a signal. Of course you can change the number of LEDs and choose the data pin that you prefer. I uploaded the codes to the Arduino Nano and powered everything up. The Raspberry gets its power from the 5V power supply of the Matrix. The red wire of the micro USB cable is 5V and the black wire is ground. I start the Gladiator software again and define the size of my Matrix. X axis is 15 LEDs and Y axis is 10 LEDs. Then I select the output tab and choose the Gladiator protocol to communicate. The LED order is HLTL for horizontal line top left start, color order is RGB, baud rate is 500,000 and now we can finally open our serial port. The RX LED of your Arduino should flash like crazy and the matrix should display wonderful images. The software is really awesome and I just love what you can create with it. But give it a try yourself you will be amazed. And if you want to do this with an A20 board, then you are lucky, because everything works the same. You just have to download the Raspbian image from the Limaker website and do the same steps as I just explained them for the Raspberry. I'm still not completely happy with the screen that I use right now, but the program is too big in size to fit on my LCD for the Banana Pro. 
I will need to find a better solution for that. Maybe you have an idea, tell me in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, make sure to like, share and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Maybe you also want to follow me on my social sites, stay creative and I will see you next time.